this is Vineet from Aisha Media. Hope you are doing great. So yeah, this video is about a power dialer. So what a power dialer does is that it calls your leads back to back, like call one, call two, call three, without going into the contact section. So it, it's a tool for prospecting uh, leads. Let's get into it. To the automations first. I have made a, I have made a, a folder for that power dialer. So you can make make a folder yourself too, just for organizing things. So let's create a power dialer. So first of all, we need to create a workflow that will be the manual calling workflow. So continue. And what we need to do, let's just name it dialer. All right, so let's just add our first call here. This is the one. Or you can use manual call to action as well. But uh, since uh, it's a powered LN and we want to do the calls automatically, I'll be using a simple call. And, uh, generally, we don't have a call whisper. And if you see here, it, it says this is the message you want the person who answers the phone to hear. You can use custom variables to customize this message. This message will be played thrice before connecting the call. So it's just kind of a, like if you have some instructions over here, like hey contact the first name uh, this is uh, so and so from so and so company so it will whisper that uh, we don't want that i'll just save save action and then i'll put a wait for like one minute and i'll tell you why i'm putting the wait for one minute here oh my god We all actions from here. Let's just rename this call one, call two, call three. All right. So what this workflow will do, you will just add the leads to this workflow, and one important setting is needed here: settings and allow re-entry would be open by default from now on on Go High level. So what you need to do is now just hit this stop on response. So what it will do, I'll just, I'll now explain you the working of this workflow. Suppose you put some leads into this contact and they didn't answer the first call. So after one minute, what it will do, it will call them again. And after one minute, it will call them again. So you will have three calls. And if you want to have more, uh, uh, more number of trials, you can add that as well. And now what this stop on response will do, Suppose someone answers the call, so they will be uh, they will be getting out of this workflow automatically. So this is how it will do. So let's just save. This is one part. This is the dialer part of the power dialer. Now we need to add another workflow. And what that will do? That will put the leads into the pipeline. Uh, let's just make a pipeline for that first. So let's go to the opportunities. pipelines create pipeline so there's one already here i'll just create a new one for a simpler workflow create new pipeline and i'll just name it as power dialer so the, the stage one would be i'm naming these after the call status so Generally, there are four call status. There's the voicemail, complete, no answer, and busy. So I'll, I'm naming the pipelines like that. Voicemail complete, no answer, busy. So I'll hit save. So now we have a pipeline made. So let's make another workflow that will put the leads on to the pipeline according to the status of the call so let's create workflow start from scratch the first trigger will be call status since it's an outbound call call direction outbound since we are calling the leads and 
call status voicemail similarly we'll put let's rename this first Busy. Status. Completed. And just for the sake of time, I'll put only a single one now status no answer uh, you can use the five of these uh, just for the sake of time I am using only four now the four triggers what that is no answer save trigger so this is the voicemail that's name it Hit save. So completed busy voice maybe the four. So I'll delete this. Say if this is that there is a type I'll just so now uh, according to the call status so when the when the leads will be going on to the dialer and According to the action they take, suppose the call went to the voicemail and the call was busy or the call was completed or the call was not answered. So according to that, these will be going to the pipelines now. Let's just put that, create a paid opportunity in pipeline power dialer. The first one is for the voicemail, watch it in name, contact, full name, save action. And we'll do this for all of this four. added this this is the busy one busy save this is the completed one the pipeline stage will be complete save this is the no answer one so the pipeline would be no answer and it's save now you can put uh, uh, whatever call whatever actions you want to put here so suppose uh, the call went to the voicemail and uh, you want to uh, send some message or some mail you can add that here or if the call was busy, you can do according to that here uh, under those branches. So what it will do now, if we go to the contacts and we select some contacts and I'm just showing it right now because the area where I am, the this calling won't work since it's a US number and I'm in the IST time zone. So I'll just, just how to make that workflow work, the power dialer work. Select the leads from here and add that to the automation. 
proceed workflow the one that we just made power dialer workflow and when you will add these leads to the workflow what it will do they would be at, um, the leads inside the leads that you put in the workflow would be called and there will be a notification here on the top right which will call them and since we have the workflows ready yeah they, they will be going inside this dialer and suppose they didn't answer the first call they will be having the second and if they didn't answer the second one they will be having the third one and so you can add whatever number of um, trial method trial um, trial calls you can add you want to add here and whenever they since the stop on response is on so whenever they will be answering the call they will be getting out of this workflow and they will be getting on the other workflow that we made for the call status so yeah that was it that was all about the power dialer it's really hand, handy while uh, calling a number of leads so you don't have to go inside the contacts and do the calling like manually every time like manually you will go to the contact and then call him so the power dialer reduce, reduces that need uh, terminates that need for calling the contact inside the contact section it will just auto call them so yeah, this was all about the power dialer. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next. Bye-bye.